So yesterday we've seen um, MetaConnect 2023 and uh, basically I was uh, super excited, I already pre-ordered mine because again, I'm, this is a moment that is very, very important for me uh, personally because I was waiting for a mixed reality experience it, a uh, high quality one for a long time and with the Quest 3 it's going to be my first opportunity. I haven't got the Quest Pro. So what you see here is what is called Assisted Scene Capture. And what it does, it basically creates a mesh render uh, of the scene, of your environment, physical environment. So basically, uh, once uh, your, for example, room that you are standing on is scanned, uh, this is going to be a saved 3D replica of it available uh, for developers to interact with. So basically what it means is that uh, if you use position virtual content in the world, it's actually be aware of the physical structure of the environment. Now you need to understand, this is going to be a big difference between different type of uh, headset. The, the, the important thing is not just that it can actually scan, but the resolution that it can actually scan. You can actually see the facets here. It doesn't seem, by the way, high resolution. And the other thing here is that being able to use object recognition to separate those objects from each other. So even though, again, for example, this couch, uh, the camera can actually see behind it because, again, it blocks part of the wall. If it can recognize it is a couch, it will be able to separate it and create a 3D uh, mesh just for the couch itself. Uh, if you go here, you can see this is again on MetaQuest official website. Uh, your titles can intelligently understand and interact with objects in physical space with new and improved mixed reality features. The other thing is uh, with new features like Depth API, Mesh API, and Space Setup, Quest 3 delivers AI-powered mixed reality that understands physical space and allows you to blend real objects with the virtual world. Now, I believe this is going to be something inherited from the MetaQuest uh, Pro. You can see uh, this is again on the official website with MetaQuest Pro cameras capturing four times the pixel of MetaQuest 2 cameras. But uh, perhaps more importantly, it's image-based rendering, stereo geometry reconstruction, and depth understanding establishes the location of objects in relation to the scene with a given room. Why the novel algorithm stack enables MetaQuest Pro to identify aspects of room geometry and people in the location of objects in the 3D space. So basically developers will have access uh, using the API and know, for example, the location of a table, of a chair, Right, so uh, basically you can see here uh, in this particular image, right, uh, you can see it understands that the chair is behind the table, the building outside of the window appear far away, and this information uh, will be available for developers to uh, interact with. Now this is actually important, this is again uh, on the official website regarding the Quest 2, and this is Mesh API and Depth API. So basically it says, you see, Mesh API, I think that's what we've seen in the video, which you see enables geometric presentation of the user space to improve your app's believability with support for first occlusion and navigation. Uh, and there's the Depth API, which I think that this is a high resolution option, which enables dynamic high precision so if you change for example you move a chair to a different location or there's a person moving it will automatically update it uh, so again it's going to represent it uh, in real time for uh, or close to it to the app uh, high precision occlusion of virtual elements with physical object hands people and more so this is going to be like the higher resolution so this is actually very exciting to hear about that because what they've seen in the video, I think it's the Mesh API, but the Death API is going to be much higher resolution. Yeah, so again, the more I read it, the more I get excited because those features that I actually wanted, again, with semantical understanding on the environment, this is crucial. This allows really developers to really take things to the next level and create really some dynamic, I mean, if you play a game, for example, a shooter game, for example, and you have different type of setup, it's going to be different for you to play, right? If you have windows, don't have windows. If you have a couch, you have breakable objects. It we should supposed to understand that and it will just behave uh, accordingly. It depends on the uh, object that are actually there in your real physical space. So again, the more I read about it, the more I find information, the more excited I am. Although I think it's still lacking some information that, uh, you know, again, otherwise it would have found it on the official channel, but maybe I missed it. If you know more, let us know in the comment section below. Well, things are looking very, very promising from the Quest 3. 
uh, more than ever. And yeah, I'm going to share more on my channel. So make sure to subscribe. And I see you very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.